The Uvalde community continues to grieve. A San Antonio philanthropist is helping. Yeah, the organization Kim's Angels is donating $2 million to Uvalde. Half of that money will go directly to the victims and their families. Garrett Berger shares the moments that some of those families were freed of the financial hardship during this very difficult time. One grieving family after another coming into the Civic Center today, each gathering a check for $40,000. The money not to replace their lost children, but to allow the families the space to grieve for them. They lack funds right now. They haven't been able to work for at least the last week, and this right here will help to lighten their load. The father of Jacqueline Cazares said they were laying his nine-year-old daughter to rest today. We weren't expecting this, you know, there's something that is greatly appreciated. The grieving father says his family wants to pay it forward as much as they can. We want to start a foundation as well for my daughter and, and try to help out because that's the way she was. We always want to help out. The executive director of Kim's Angels says they doubled the check amount for the family of teacher Irma Garcia, whose husband Joe died shortly after her from what their family says was a broken heart. And at least three other injured victims will also get checks as the organization hoping to leave behind a million dollars today. Okay. But the foundation says there will be more to come to help other injured victims and the larger community. We're giving away a million to the nonprofits, the city, the school, and probably I'm going to give another couple million to help them build a, a recreation center here for the kids to do after school programs. One of many efforts to make families feel seen and cared for. Well, helping out no matter you know, how little or how big it is, you know, everybody's been helping out. It's been great. You know, it's not just the Valley, people from all over the world. Out at Robb Elementary, there's been a steady stream of people coming to see and observe and even add to this memorial that sprung up outside of the school. And we've also seen neighbors trying to step up and make sure that they can help in some way. An example of that, we're going to have it coming up at 6 o'clock. Live in Uvalde, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.